When you know what's right for you, you're on your way to being a well-being. Learn how with personalised advice from Blackmores. Welcome to this week's injury update, brought to you again by Blackmores. It was a disappointing result at the MCG on Sunday. A loss was compounded, unfortunately, by the injury to Alan Tuvey. Uh, he jarred his knee. Fortunately, he's had a scan today and it looks pretty positive. Uh, we will still be fairly conservative about it. There's no certainty that he'll play this week, but uh, it's certainly not long term. Brent McCaffrey has been struggling with that uh, recovery from his, uh, from his serious surgery on his knee. They're going to go in and have a bit of a look. Uh, he'll, they'll have an arthroscope to see how it goes. Um, we're not expecting anything too serious, but it will certainly hold him back the amount of time it takes to recover from the arthroscope, which will be three or four weeks before he can get back into his program. So it's a bit disappointing, but probably good news for him. We'll be able to get him back on track. Ben Reid missed the VFL again this weekend, not through any injury per se, but we've, uh, we're committed to not playing him unless he's 100%, so he's a little bit uh, concerned about his conditioning, so he didn't play this week. And unfortunately, he'll miss this weekend as well because there's a bye, but we're pretty confident about where he is, and one day I'll be telling you he's going to play this week. Uh, Jackson Ramsey with his shin. Uh, we're not absolutely sure whether he'll come up this week. We're reasonably positive, but again, we'll play it by ear. Uh, he'll be a test. Steel side bottom's in the same boat. We're pretty confident his thumb's fine and healed. It's a matter of how comfortable he is and how well he's able to train. Uh, he'd be a test as well. Clinton Young is coming on quite well. Uh, that hamstring's doing pretty well. I doubt that he'll play. He certainly won't play this week because there's no VFL game, but he should be fine for the week after. Nathan Freeman, as we said last week, has had his uh, hamstring, uh, had some surgery on that. Uh, he's in pretty good shape. Uh, the only recovery time will be recovering from the actual surgery, so that'll be another few days before he's able to get on the track and hopefully he'll run, if not this week, next week, and then we'll see how he goes. Darcy Moore's in pretty good shape with his hamstring. We're really pleased about the way he's going. Again, we'll be conservative with him, so he won't play this week because there's a VFL bye, but uh, there's a fair chance he'll play the week after. Levi Greenwood's going very well. He's running, he's kicking, he's just got to get the, the work into his body, into his legs again. Um, but it'll still be another few weeks before he's able to play. But uh, we're really happy with the way he's going. Uh, ben Sinclair, as we uh, suggested in the first place, is reasonably slow uh, with that hammy. Uh, certainly won't play this week, but there's some chance of the week after, or definitely the week after that would be our suggestion. Uh, Brendan Abbott missed the game uh, with, through illness on the weekend. He was just a bit crook and couldn't play, so he'll be fine to train this week and obviously can't play this weekend because there's no game, but he's fine. Uh, ben Kennedy came through the game very well. There were reports of a concussion, which uh, wasn't the case. Um, he did get a whack in the head, but he certainly wasn't concussed. Um, but he, and he missed the, the last quarter because he was a bit sore, but he's fine. He, we saw him today and he's in good shape and will almost certainly be available for this week. A big inter interstate trip to the Gold Coast this weekend. Really looking forward to it. Unfortunately, VFL has a bye, um, but uh, the Gold Coast game is a real challenge for us and we can't wait.